Hey there everyone and welcome back to the channel. For today's video I have Bear with me. Let's go ahead and see what this game is all about. My friend gifted me this game so this should be an interesting experience. I know nothing about it. I'm excited to play it. It looks kind of weird so this will be my first time. I have no idea what's going to happen. Alright, starting off on kind of a darker path. What the heck is that thing? It's like my inner demon staring back at me. Please wake up. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, I'm awake. Oh, hello. Hi there, Millie. Oh. It seems you had a nightmare. Oh, did I? Uh, I don't really remember. There was this fire. Yeah, but I can handle yeah, nightmares. Yeah, but I can handle nightmares. <laughs> Never mind that now, Millie. What are you doing here? Is everything okay? Oh, no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? What's going on Miss, in Paper City? I'm afraid City? your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, Miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Mr. Ted, Bear, I know where okay. he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. <laughs> I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. I wonder what happened between me and Mr. Bear. I think I can find my brother on my own. Okay, Millie, I'll... Ah, uh, nah. Fuck I think it. I can find my brother on my own, Millie. I don't really need Ted's help anymore. Yeah, we got this. You're growing up so fast, little miss. But please reconsider. Oh, come there on. There is Let something else I life. have to warn you about. The reason I came all the way down here... There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. Ah, so what we man? Have a stalker we now. call nice. him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up, the oh, officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city, your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most what of the, the exits are closed off? off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel. <laughs> Bless their boys, hearts. Really? We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little I'm miss. I, I just to need to you. rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Oh, but I don't want to. Can I just... Glasses? What do I need glasses for? I can see just fine. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. Oh, okay. Okay, what do we got in the drawer here? Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Oh, okay. We got a magnifier. What about this drawer? Yes, yes, drawers. What will they think of next? They're so amazing. I yes, want to Yes, yes, drawers. What will they think of next? Oh my god, you can put inside fine. 
about it's all about the birds and the bees, and how the birds like to eat the bees and other insects. Ah, that's the great tools book I to use read to that. transfer I my love genius that book. The onto birds and paper. The bees, the best. Yeah, what about a pillow? Can it... Nothing interesting yeah. about them. Well, one of them has a PhD in clinical virology, so I guess that's something. Wait, the pillow has a PhD? What? Wait. Can I... What's this? Folium cadent. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right. I didn't. Oof. It's really hanging in there. Maybe you should probably... Oh my god, it's dying. Okay, it's just dead. Ugh. I was gonna say, maybe we should water it and try and save it, but I guess not. What's this uh, chest up here? Oh, just the items I've gotten. So I got the magnifying glass, glasses... Oh, and a Swiss army knife? Nice. All right, let's, uh, let's continue to look around a little bit more. We got books. I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are Boomerang, What Goes Around Comes Around, The Island of the Monkeys, and Staring Down the Barrel, A Drunkard's Tale. All right, all right, we get it. You're smart. Not all of us can read, all right? It's filled with stuff I brought from the city. Well, maybe some of that stuff could be helpful. Let's open it. All right, I'll go to the closet, I guess. We'll see uh, if Teddy's in. Wow. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Smooth cop. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. Hearing that smooth voice makes She starts talking, so and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, jazz. Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz, and I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does, and I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually I give in. We've done this so many times I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head. And then... And then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way. Or is it the booze that makes me calm? Man, this guy's got such a smooth voice. I wish I had a voice that smooth. Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Hi Ted, I heard you've retired, but- Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? <laughs> Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Your bad news, doll, always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help Man, me. I, I only asked because guy. Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? You're making too much noise. I was already in bed. I was already in bed. I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? Okay, that old Bear, broad like... is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, Quit with the I have some real and help work to me do. Out. Come on. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, um, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead, um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, dog. Man, this I've got a nice salty. little setup Jeez. here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. 
bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? <laughs> it was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. You owe me rent. Uh, I guess I'll just go alone. Do we really have to have have to do this again? No, no. You owe me rent. How about I just keep pretending your office isn't in my closet and you actually owe me rent? That was kind of a cheap shot, doll. <laughs> but I guess nothing ever comes for free. What's this nonsense all about, anyways? I knew, I knew. Pulling so, the according money to would Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie, the mayor has issued yeah, a citywide lockdown. Millie, no one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Um, Millie and the Paper City Orchestra? Nah, 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 nah. Bird watches of the world. Paper City catapult enthusiasts. Wine and cheese of the month club. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with the Paper Mache Association of Paper City. That's what I'm um, about. yeah, Millie and the Paper City Paper Mache Association. Yeah, that they thought sound they like could practice <laughs> their um macheing here in the woods since their place burned down. Boy, that place must have burned down fast. Am I right? Wait, I never heard of any paper mache association down in the city. Are you making this up? No, no, of course yeah, not. Why would sorry. I make it up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot oh. boys helped her out. I Way know how much you don't like fast. them. Come on, you gotta double I down mean, on your lives. What's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. Ooh, those are but so wasn't bad. that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. Yeah, being a He's asking stalker, questions about you? you know, What's so interesting about you? <laughs> Damn. Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. <laughs> Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Man, Will you help me out? Just throwing the burns Whoa there, out sugar this cup. Chick. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Oh, what's missing? Your left shoe, your hat, your nose, <laughs> your nose. I'm gonna say your hat. You need your hat to look cool. Who cares about my brother? We need your hat. hat? No, I'm phasing that one out. What? Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant? Ooh. You know what I mean. That now cocky get little smirk. Oh man. It says FBI on it. I bet it stands for Federal Bear Investigation. Oh, that's bad. It serves as a support for his heavy head when he passes out. Alright, um. Sneakers. Mask? No. I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. I mean, you only have two pairs of shoes. Even I have more shoes than that. Granted, most of It's them my are field like hockey mask. Shit. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, yeah, just give Jason a hockey mask. That sounds fine. These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. Oh, so vivid. Man, just all those different versions of gray. Mm. 
Okay, um... So we gotta fix it first, right? That's what we gotta do? How the heck are we supposed to do that? It makes this place look like a proper office. Okay, how do I... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Turn this freaking music off. He don't need that. Turn his fan off too, fuck that. Hey. Okay. Sticky glue? I want that. Give me that. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. Thanks for staring right at the camera when you said that. Appreciate it. That's what the phones looked like back in the days. Um, I mean, now. Back in the day. Oh, that's how we exit. Okay, there we go. Hey, don't glare at me, bear. Come on. So... This is my bed. It, there are know. many beds like this, but this one is mine. Alright, I don't know how to go about fixing it. Can I, like... There we go. Now I just need a lens. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Oh, well, fine. Where can I find a lens? Maybe it's in last night's supper? If I was a magnifying glass lens, I would, um be these glasses here, but I break them. Wait, can I do that? I broke my mom's uh, glasses. I better oh, find I use for this lens out. now. There we go. Voila, a perfect crime. Ted will never know. Oh, freaking amazing. All right, there we go. Now I just need to go inside, give him the magnifying glass, and we can continue with the story. That took me Found my way magnifier too long. yet. Nope, not yet. Do you really? Do you really need my? What? Okay, fair. No, I I have it. It's right. It's right, freaking here. Can I give it to you? It's right here. Are you even trying? Shut up. Found my magnifier yet? Nope, not yet. Do you really what need do you my? Mean, okay. Though? I I have it. I have it in my inventory. It's all ready to go. It looks like I need to do something in here, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <gasps> oh! Are you even- Okay. I think I figured it out. Oh! Let's give this a try. Let's see if this works. Okay, we open up this. We pull out the magnifying glass. That's not my magnifier. Oh. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No. This there is my magnifier, go. with the lens missing, which I'm sure you broke recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kid's glue. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. Hey, we finally did it. I figured out how to give him the fecking magnifying glass. All right. So now, let's go to the hallway. Come on, Baron. Follow let's me. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. Sorry, Ted. Ted, short for Teddy. I get it. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, ooh, we can interact with this. Why do we need to? It's locked. Ah, okay, fair. What about you? I bet it's full of diamonds. That's something one would have lying around in a cardboard box in the middle of the hallway, right? Yeah, totally. And then wouldn't be in a safe at all. Let's go to the bathroom. What's in the bathroom? It's so dark in here, Ted. I can't see anything. The light is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. I wish I could play as Teddy. I think I'd prefer to have Teddy as my... See, look at this. Why is the corner connected by a shoelace? That's... Such a weird it's decoration. Just... It's just weird. Yep, it's weird. It's very weird. Alright, let's go into Flint's room. He, we do need to find our brother after all. This would probably be Wait, the first. Wait, it's oh. locked. But why? Oh, okay. This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. Maybe I can still fit through. It's Snoop. worth checking out. If not... I'm pretty sure Bear or Ted here could fit through it. He's pretty small. Alright, let's go downstairs. 
Uh, whoa, wait, there's an east hallway. Oh, we should go to the east hallway first. Gotta explore the entire upstairs. Holy. Rusty, you scared me. Rust. Ah, great identifier. Rust. Yo, what up, dude? Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. <laughs> well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. Well, dang. Um, do you know anything about the Red Man? Sitting in lockdown. The Yellow King. Uh, let's let's start with the important question first. Do you know anything about the you Yellow know anything King? About the Yellow King? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open, like open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. I don't know anything about that. What about the We've heard red rumors about some red about. man. Know anything about that? I sure do. He's the oh, damn yeah. reason all this is happening, Bear. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first, gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. Couple of beaten up low lives here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know? Then, the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse, trying to corner this bird. No one heard from them since. And those Man, guys are miners, guy Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figure I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, I'm why would this guy be going around there. asking about her? You know anything about this, doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, like, You bear. know I can't get a boyfriend. Who's getting smart now? <laughs> so, what kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he all right? He's fine. <laughs> He's just sleepy and grumpy and, like, totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm not just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Why is We've heard the, the city, city is in lockdown? lockdown? Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas we'll leak down at the basement level. Later. Let's find out all the uh, filler first. Oh, you think someone is trying to cover things up? So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? How'd you escape? Yeah, how did how'd you, you escape? escape? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. Ah, okay. Fair, I guess. Um, so, so no, no one, one leaves, leaves or, or enters the city at this point? Thing. That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some <laughs> buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Um, what? He said Man, he that can guy do it. is so cool. I like Rust. Rust so you think it wasn't an character. accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fellow? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, Bear. Mr. Deeds is a straight-up bird. 
Besides, There's his son was down at the fire. mill when it happened. He had got a little ear buzz, is all. Okay, got it. But what about Have my you seen brother? Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. Okay, bye. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's alright. I want Rusty to come with us. I like Rusty. For when you get tired of walking up and down this hallway. Why, why would you have a couch in the hallway? That doesn't... That's so weird. Alright, let's try our parents' room. Let's see if we can get in there. There should be a key around here somewhere. Unless someone took it. Oh, guess we can't go in there. But let's try the study. Hey, we can get into the study. Okay. What do we got going on in here? This thing is flashing at me, so I wanted to just... Okay, there we go. Books. My books grandpa's books. books. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but these look so boring. <laughs> a book titled Indoctrination of Roman Dutch Law in the Courts of South Africa. Well, that makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, that sounds like a very boring book. I'd fall asleep trying to read that. Hey, it's a globe. If only it was accurate. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. Because we all know the earth is flat. Wow, that was, that was oh, so interesting. Ooh, a cigar Ew, bar. cigars are gross. Of all the places in the world, the flavor country seems least appealing to me. I don't know, I think Ted here might like one. Let's check these cabinets. Oh, what was hey, that? a flashlight. But hey. there are no batteries inside. There's bound to be some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. Uh, we have a battery, though. How many do we need? This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. So we can't just put one in for now? Oh, okay. Alright, um... Books. Hourglass. Ooh, hourglass. It looks pretty. The sand, I bet, came from somewhere far away. That dim-witted boy sells these down at the local market. So the sand probably came from... Nope. Somewhere far away. Maybe some desert. Sure. The desert. <laughs> He's like, I'm not even gonna fight you with It's on this. growing from the sand. Whatever. Aren't you perceptive, doll? You should have been a detective. And you should have been a ten-year-old girl, because you throw like one. It looks expensive. Let's knock it over. All right, let's try crawling in here. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna fit. Yeah, just this hole over. leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me. I have to pass. See, oh, spiders on. tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. Well then, you go through the hole. Come on. This hole leads to Flint's room. Go in, Ted. I'm sorry. See, oh, okay, it's okay. a mess. Fine. I guess we need to find a way to deal with the spiders, because they're too scared to deal with the spiders themselves. Oh, what, what the hell? What was what? that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. Dude, when did this become a horror game? What the hell? Jesus, that like straight made me shit my pants. It's a tree. Like the ones outside. Only this one is inside. It's creepy. I don't like it. Uh, my heart's a racing. Okay, uh, um, let's try going downstairs now. <sighs> you use them me. to move up and down the house. Fascinating stuff. Yeah, let's let's go go down them. You're not gonna. Okay, you won't let me go downstairs. All right. What about the attic? Can I A go up door the attic? that leads to the attic. No, really, 
That's all there is to it. It leads to the attic, hence the name, the attic door. Oh wait, I forgot. Um, we were gonna ask Rusty for some batteries. I'm still just like, that really caught me off guard. Russ, hey there, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. Can we get just Can't one? Can't you give us just one battery, on. Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side, Rust. Come on, take the edge off. We could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Are you saying I'm not qualified bear. for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up. Fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case, and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials, and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure that you're I not don't playing believe me, so. you. Alright, I guess we gotta go get a case file now. Ted and Amber, move away. Oh my god, Ted, you're not <laughs> supposed to read the brackets. <laughs> a do-over? Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now suddenly he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. Man, I like the fourth wall break there. <laughs> there should be an old file here somewhere. Nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember. That CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. Alright, so it should be in the cabinet here. There. Is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head wow, back that to that quick. hothead robot. Man, that was, that was fast. I didn't think it'd be that easy. Hey, they're rust. Having trouble finding your proof? I'll find it. It's sure oh. thing. To That's right. We need to go in here, grab the credentials. There we go. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out, and keep little Miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's alright. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Ah, oh, poor Rust. I like him. Okay, so now I can go in here. Go. Hey, I got it working! Okay, so... Now we head to the bathroom. Maybe we'll get some, like... Spider repellent in the bathroom. And that will let us crawl through the, the hole. Ah, it's 
so much easier to see It's now. just one of the many cabinets around the house. Okay. Where's the money, Lebowski? It's full of uninteresting stuff. Ah, uh, you won't let me look at... I'm okay, not going go. through trash. trash it's just my work ethic. Ah, oh, you're so lame. No, Cleaning stuff. but nice try, Mom. A duster? We could use the duster to clear up the spiders? That sounds like a good idea. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Okay, there we go. Nope, cabinets, nope. Oh, I can interact with this. Grooming nah, products. I'm pretty as it is. Okay, never mind. Pills? No. Toilet paper. Classic TP found in most bathrooms. What's there left to say that hasn't been published in Science Weekly already? Am I right? Let's let's take it. We could use it. Clean up the spiders or something. I don't know. Bathtub? No. Okay. I think we only needed the dusters, so let's go back and try and go through the. Oh my God! What's happening? What is this, doll? Are you seeing this? I I I don't know, Ted. What was it? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. It's not the feckin' lights? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Go in the hole. Can we can we please go Oh wait, I oh I need to do the thing. Wait. This no. go in. I'm sorry. See, it's no, no. a map. Okay. Now we go to the duster here. We can use it. There we go. Clear out the spiders. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl <laughs> through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. Go into Flint's room. Do I get to control Ted this time? The case was spinning out of control. So fast, I had to hold onto my that hat. To Nothing me. made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy die, of mine, who suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. The Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole of the city. This bond I have with her will be the only thread I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Man, this is such a cool game. We're gonna have to continue this next time, though. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining me. I am having such a blast playing this game, and it is surprisingly terrifying. Perfect for this time of year. <laughs> you guys have a good night.